Okay guys, well, we are going out for a trolling trip here on Collins Lake. We have Jason over there, Ryan over there, Lucy on the seat, hoping for a donut or something like that. And, uh, turn this camera off. We got a pretty unique situation here today. The bite's in transition. For months out here, we've been seeing fish down at about 30 feet and they would not go. Um, but right now, the, it sounds like fish, Wes was out here yesterday, sounds like fish all the way from you know the surface down to 50 feet are biting. So we're gonna sample a little bit of everything. Sounds like we're gonna get some breeze today, but we are specifically gonna try to find some larger fish and we're gonna do that by working near the surface or at least near the the top of the fish that we're seeing on the sonar we're going to start off with two lead core rods a couple flies and up top i'm going to run a disco minnow so we're going to go sample some shallow water and uh, then we'll start integrating the downrigger a little bit so i'm going to cast off the lines and uh, we are going to go fishing here we go today here but he doesn't look very big he did jump all over a white and pink metal head which is my uh my big fish lure but uh, we'll get him in and get rid of him, get him off. So anyway, I'll keep this running and we'll see the release. Yeah, it, we could just flip him with the pliers. Yep. Yeah, that's what he is. He's a little, he's a little fella. He's a little scout, a little biscuit head. Not that small, but he's, he's too small. Yeah, just lift him up. We got plenty of power there. Just don't let that thing snap up into your hand. Let's see. All right, fish on the orange tube fly. Don't know if he's very big, but we will find out. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Treble hook on there. He's fighting. All right. Right here. There he is. Ah, yeah, 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 don't do that. Come on, I wanna let you go. That's my plan. Oh, there we go. Jump off. There we go. Cool. Okay, guys, we've worked the back of the bay where I have been catching some big fish really hard. Um, there's definitely fish back there. We caught a little one, we had a couple bumps. Nothing too exciting, so we're gonna branch out a little bit here. Um, and work up along some structure and then along the east side of the lake where there's all kinds of fluctuations in depth and structure. Um, I dropped one fly down to probably 12 to 15 feet. I put out a fourth rod with a pink trout tricks worm. I still have my pink and white fly running over here. That's been my best big fish bait. And uh, we have a small orange fly working out there on top. I've been getting some nice fish on that too. So we're gonna continue working here. The hot bite window last week was from about 10.30 to 1.30, so we will see what happens. But uh, we are on the troll, on the job, and uh, keep you posted. You can see over there, we are running a downrigger now. We got a, a, a pinhead spoon down around 30 feet. There's a lot of marks down there, but we suspect that they are small fish. Just kind of keep doing our thing here with some flies and spoons and see if we can find something big. Oh, this is the fish of the day. It's bigger than it looks. And, and that's a nice fish. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. That's a two pounder on the orange fly right there. Nice. Well, it's about 10:30 a.m. now. Um, been running a downrigger here down about 30 feet with a little pinhead spoon on it hooked one nice fish um, of course we lost that one we hooked a smaller fish we landed that one got a pretty nice fish on our surface fly out here so it's kind of grinding away kind of hunting peck fishing out here over the main channel over deep water we're seeing a lot of marks but uh, we are working our way back to my shallow bay I'm gonna pull the downrigger and uh, get some flies out on lead core and work the uh, the back the shallow portion of the bay and see if we can catch something really nice we'll see great conditions um do the fish want to cooperate well we're going to find out but uh you know like i say so far kind of hit and miss trolling out here over deep water another one on the surface fly no telling how big he is on that light rod hard to say we're going to find out though Oh, we got one over here. We got a double. We got a double, 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 double trouble. Woo! Find 
of running that way. It might actually just be across the line. Oh, no. We don't like that kind of negativity. <laughs> oh, you got a fish. Oh, you, that is a fish. I see him over there. And yours is over there. And his is over here. The trade sides. That's it. I like it. It's like the dance lesson. Oh, that's a nicer fish there. We should keep that one. Whoa, there we go. Yours is a little guy. You could flip him. Yeah. Go ahead and flip. Show him to me over here. Show me that monster. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. But yeah, flyers right there. Flip him off. The first one, no, the second one today on that white and pink fly. Oh, good fish. Oh, no, not a good fish. Baby fish. <laughs> He's a little biscuit. Oh, good. He came off. Well, guys, trip's a wrap. Um, the lake is definitely a transition right now. We caught fish from the surface down to about 30 feet deep today. Um, our problem wasn't getting in on action. Our problem was getting any size. We didn't get any sizable fish today. We lost one that might have been decent. Um, actually, a couple that might have been decent. We had one about two pounds probably one a little smaller than that um, my clients took those home to eat the rest they were all pretty pretty dinky they were you know 10 inch fish probably they put up a good fight chrome bright beautiful fish but not the size of fish we were hoping for but uh, hey some days you get a lot of action and some days you get a lot of size and if you're really lucky you get a lot of both but today was definitely more on the action size than the size uh, side number one lure today was the pinhead spoon just like that one there gold or chrome uh, two and a half miles an hour. Um, let me grab my other rod here. Number two lure today was a metalhead trolling fly, just like that. Um, I ran the metalhead on lead core and I was running the pinheads off the downrigger. Um, the biggest fish came on a pinhead, the biggest lost fish came on a pinhead. Um, we did lose a pretty good fish while power trolling with a metal head late in the day. We tried power trolling. Um, we hooked a fish on a crippled minnow at about 2.8 miles an hour, and we got uh, one hit and one hooked fish that we lost on the metal head. Um, overall, good day, great company, no size. Um, the lake is in transition, though. We were not getting those deeper fish to go off the downrigger. You know, we haven't had that all spring. Um, we had a whole bunch of hits on the downrigger today, so that's something new, and it's just a sign that spring is eventually going to give way to summer here the fish are going to drop down in the water column and uh, i'm going to say trout you know all the way from the surface probably down to 40 or 50 feet because i was marking trout down there they are all active they're all willing to take a swipe at your bait and uh, you know that might be part of the challenge right now there's a lot more small fish in the lake than there are big fish so you probably have to sort through quite a few small fish to get after one of those big boys but you know the very next strike could be something 10 pounds so keep your line wet Stay on the move, um, stay focused, and uh, you're going to be yelling fish on for sure if you're fishing here at Collins Lake, and you might hook into something big. Got my fingers crossed for big fish tomorrow. I got three clients on the boat. We're going to be pulling some, some pin heads. We're going to be pulling some metal heads. We're going to be working the water column and uh, you know keeping our eyes and ears open we'll see what happens if you're looking for lures if you're looking for pinheads metal heads lead core rods and more you know where to go get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and i'll see you real soon here on youtube thanks a lot guys i'm kel kellogg